So after the first practice, some frenetic activity in the pits, and uh, it appears that uh, Scotland's Keith Cheshire is very busy working on uh, Andy O'Donnell's car after practice. What is it that they're having to check at the moment then, Andy? Just tighten up everything, double checking everything. Right, okay. How did it feel in practice then? Not too bad. Not too bad. That's good. Okay. Not too bad. So, Keith, you're making yourself busy already then? Yes. No, <laughs> no rest here, Rob. That's right. Everybody mucks in, don't they? Good stuff. So there we are, that's uh, Andy O'Donnell, Jerry Rothwell and uh, Keith Cheshire from Scotland mucking in on Andy's car and uh, everybody helping everybody else which is uh, part and parcel of uh, classic hot rod racing. So we will let the gentlemen get on with their job in continuing to prep that car for racing this evening. As we had a look earlier, the 100 car of Kevin Feeney with the uh, OMI on the side of it now, proudly displaying its support of this uh, promotion here at Tipperary. Podge, if we may, we'll just have a quick word. Hey, Rob. Hi there. And uh, how did you feel it went out in practice just yeah, before? Not bad, no. Not bad. It's not bad. It's away, be great. You wanted to stay dry. Yeah, sure. Why not make for better races? Over. Yeah, I would imagine so. Mm. The, the the car itself, you'll be running more or less off the front this evening, won't no, you? No, I'm back on the yellow grade now. Yellow. Well, yeah. still, nevertheless, you've got a little still bit of a start on. against the the, the others. Moves. Yeah, still have a good corner, you know. And. Um, you seem to make quite a good start with this car. I mean, you're quite a. I mean, you've uh, had a good run earlier this year. Yeah, a few eighteen problems for this. Hopefully, she's back on form now. Yeah, so. yeah, Hopefully. yeah. <laughs> and uh, in practice earlier, how did it feel just before? Yeah, pulling good and handling all right, but you never know what the weather on that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, well good luck to you, thank, thank you. you All right. We'll see you later. Okay. Yeah. So Podge making his uh, way to do prep on the car as the rain comes down again in this very changeable uh, weather here in, in Ireland. And the rain lashing down as uh, Damien preps his car, the Mark I Escort. How did it think for you out there then, uh, Damien? Uh, yeah, it's fine, Rob. Uh, not expecting a whole lot more from myself, so it's, uh, once I get around safe, I don't mind. OK, you're going to have a good race with the likes of John McFarlane then? John, I'm out I'm on... The 84 car, the Fiesta? Yeah, I'm on pole today, so on front. It's my first day up front, so yeah, yeah. it's got to be kept there today. Mr Lilly and, and Huey Weaver are up fairly quick even in practice there. Yeah, so they were, weren't they? Yeah, they're moving good, so... No, just try and keep it in one piece. Hopefully That's it. Well, go have a good evening anyway. Thank yeah, you very much. OK. So there we are. The rain lashing down all of a sudden. The Adrian Boyle car, 195. And Thomas Stilly putting the... Uh, gazebo up in this inclement weather that has suddenly come in and uh, quite possibly will as quickly go as it uh, as it arrived but uh, Thomas as you get that uh, wheel out there to uh, support the gazebo you must be feeling quietly confident about your chances this evening well I am but geez, sir. Jeff Richardson has become fast starting at yellows Yes. Gary O'Neill is fast starting off yellows. He is, yes, yes. Starting half a lap down, from them guys, there's a lot of ground. And it just goes to show, when you raced at Agadoe, there was only about half a dozen of you, but you were all on the pace. It made very close racing, didn't it's it? Very close racing. There's no slow cars now. Yeah. Everybody's got it sorted out and everybody's fast. All right. Well, best of luck and enjoy yourself all later. All is Thank you. Well. OK. So there we are, a bit of an insight from uh, the Ulsterman, the top point scorer in the Irish series so far this year, Thomas Dilly. And uh, indeed, uh, it would be wrong to say that he wasn't one of the uh, favourites for racing uh, for the Irish Grand Prix later tonight. So we walk past and uh, revisit the uh, Chevette of John McFarlane.
and the uh, somewhat cha changeable weather, John. You were out there in the uh, in the dry just a moment ago. And now the rain comes in again. What are your thoughts? Suit me. Yeah, you'd like to have it a little bit wetter. Um, yeah. Picked the wrong dip. Aye. So we're running out of power. Know that I've got a lot of power, <laughs> but we're running out of power before the end of the street. So the leveler is the way. Could be interesting because um, you know I think there's going to be a, a lot of people out there having a, a good close battle within their own field, so to speak. Well, you've seen that right at the very start with Ray yeah. and uh, Thomas. They were giving each other the check out and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Too much pressure coming out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm quite happy. I'll just stand at the back and just do my own thing. That's it, yeah. It's all about learning curve with this formula, so... Well, best of luck anyway. At the end of the day, we're all here to enjoy ourselves and then a nice bit of social later on well, in the bar at Tipperary. I've got Graham McCabe's uh, weights for me, but they look more like slicks. So <laughs> I don't know what his angle is. <laughs> there we are. Sun now again. He's it's, it's helped, it's helped me already with the overalls. I have to go a size bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, John. OK. Oh, dear. So... Some good atmosphere being caught, good uh, attitude amongst the drivers, and uh, it would be nice to actually have a word with one or two of them that uh, we haven't met before on Classic Hot Rod TV. And uh, one of the drivers who uh, I would like just to have a quick word with, if we may, uh, here he is, it's Jeff Richardson. Hi there, Jeff. It's great to see you here. Uh, welcome to Classic Hot Rod TV. And uh, indeed, this has been your inaugural year racing in Classics with this uh, Mark II. Are you enjoying it? I love it, sorry, yeah. Yeah. It's an enjoyable driver, Mark II. And the open circuit, which has been on for years, as you know, like so. Yes. Good, good to see you back. Yes, of course. And uh, of course, you have really uh, got into the group quite quickly. I mean, Agadui was a good example of how well everybody was sort of like on the pace. I'm glad I've got one behind me so we can't actually get into the group. We'll see how it goes. Which, which grade are you starting off this evening? Right, okay. So, got a bit of an advantage, but not as much as you had once before. I really wanted a white roof, but I wouldn't give it them. <laughs> no, because. Prior to you uh, coming back to Ireland, because you used to live abroad, didn't you? I used to live in Canada. So in Canada. Yeah. And how long were you there for? I was just there for a year. Right, so, okay. But I uh, came back and I'm glad to be back. Good. I don't mind the rims much now after living there for so long. Like, you know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you raced prior to going to Canada, didn't you? I haven't raced in about 12 or Right, years, so right. I used to race through your hot And before I had a race later, I was like, what did I say? That was 12 or yeah, so things have changed, but... Uh, oh, I was saying, will I ever be able to get back in it, but we're gay, don't we, since we've been to Mexico. So, uh, hopefully we can. Well, enjoy yourself anyway. Yeah. Would you prefer it dry or wet tonight? Dry. dry. Okay, I'd okay. prefer the speed bumps the dry. The okay, wet. okay. Right, well, good luck. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, Jeff. And Jeff was just explaining that... Uh, his brother, Clive, who is uh, very uh, engaged in the, uh, in the uh, ground and uh, construction industry, has been called away, unfortunately, to uh, Saudi Arabia, of all places, as he's had to have been brought in on a job. So, unfortunately, one of the hot favourites that could have been for the Irish Grand Prix tonight is, uh, unfortunately, absent. And... Uh, that will, that will certainly have an impact on uh, the fortunes of some of those racing. But we have a look at the super looking uh, 925 car of uh, Gary O'Neill. And just look at the wheels on this super looking machine as well. Right there in the, uh, in the quality zone of Lee Wood even. And uh, a beautiful looking car. And it would be good if we can have a quick word with Gary. First time on camera, so we'll see whether we can ju just slip by one or two of the uh, mechanics and supporters here. Going past his uh, car, the Yellow Peril. But if we may, sorry to interrupt you there, Gary, but uh, we would just like to just welcome you to uh, Classic Hot Rod TV. And of course, this being your first year racing yeah. classics, 
but you've made a very good impression in this beautiful looking car. Yeah, I've had a lot of fun, haven't I? Yeah. Beautiful. And uh, I mean, the pedigree of the car itself, having been once in the hands of uh, the 2013 national champion Daniel Holden, yes. and then it moved on uh, to uh, number 192, Ken Marriott. Yeah. I've a, have a lot to do to try and get on. You know, the front of the grid, you know, Did you have a lot to do to make the car your own as you uh, purchased it? Uh, some changes, you know, but not too many. Yeah, yeah. My own cars. Well, I was just mentioning to Jeff Richardson, though, there may have only been um, a half a dozen cars at uh, Agadui earlier yeah. this year, yeah. but you were all on the pace making very close, exciting racing. Yeah, that was very good, mate. I enjoyed it, mate. You, you got caught up in a little bit of a shimozzle in that a final. Bit a, a wee bit of a final, but it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Have you had to do much in, in prep for the car for today? Uh, just a wee bit around the front, you know, but not too bad. Okay. Uh, we altered a bit of the cam timing as well, so hopefully it'll, it'll work out all right, you know. All right. Would you prefer wet or dry tonight? Uh, dry for me. Okay, dry. okay. Well, best of luck and thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. All right, all cheers. Right, thank, thank, you. thank you. Cheers. All right. So, there we are. A bit of an insight from uh, Gary O'Neill. That's the inside of his uh, Anglia. Yellow peril. And uh, would you believe uh, in the time in which we've been filming, it's uh, poured with rain and now bright sunshine again. We just really don't know where we are with uh, car preparation, but I'm sure all the drivers will be going out on slicks this evening unless it's absolutely torrential. So that completes our review through the pits. Unless we have a, a chance to uh, say hello to Huey Weaver, the one English representative, we'll just try and make our way through pit lane to see whether we can catch hold of Huey. Either way, we'll have a quick look at his car. So again, going through the atmosphere of the pits and the uh, revving engines of some of the uh, production classes. see just how wet it's been here at Tipperary as we go through pit lane. And, uh, out here all on his own is uh, the Englishman, 210 Hugh Weaver. Hugh, just having a quick word with the, some of the lady drivers, but Hugh, sorry to interrupt you, but uh, it's a, a delight once again to see you here, and uh, you enjoy being part of the racing scene at uh, Ireland, don't you? Good uh, good atmosphere, good camaraderie. I love the camp and I love the track. Yes, yes. I'm surprised there's not more people here from England. Well, yes, I think one or two of us are of the same mind, it's unfortunate, but nevertheless I think we'll uh, make best of it in any case, won't we? Yeah, we're having yeah. a good old crack, it's always good here. Good stuff. It's good, the racing's good and the company's good. Absolutely. You mentioned to me before you'd like to have it as a wet meeting, is that right? Yeah, I'm hoping for rain. Okay. We still haven't had a wet meeting yet, and I want to see how we go with it. Right, well enjoy yourself, thank you for your time and good luck for tonight. So there we are, Hugh Weaver, the one English representative in car 210. And that now does wrap up our lineup of the classic hot rods for 2016. All those that will be competing in the uh, Irish Grand Prix.